Hammond, hamster. Hammond, Hammond, will you please autograph my acorn? Hammond Hamster is giving my acorn a ride. I want a ride too. Me too, me too. <laughs> squirrel Stampede. Please squike. And a squirrel hide. Hammond Hamster is so cool. On the table, we are going back to Lego Overwatch with set number 75976, Wrecking Ball. Two hundred twenty-seven pieces, and comes with a Hammond hamster minifigure, which I'm sure all the squirrels will be happy to meet. On the back of the box, or is this the front of the box? Darn these Overwatch sets. I have enough confusion not really getting a chance to play the game, just enjoying the toys to figure these things out. Inside the box, small set of instructions. Bag of one pieces, but with other pieces inside and two bags of pieces, and a few stickers to decorate. Well, let's get the wrecking ball rolling and build this set. And constructed, we have Hammond the Hamster in his wrecking ball from Overwatch. Now please be kind to me in this review, I do not get a chance to play Overwatch, so I don't know too much about it. Obviously I built this set to have Hammond the Hamster appear on Squirrel Stampede. Oh, we'll show you where the snack bar is. Show me the snack bar online. I think we're making friends nicely with Hammond so far. So the Hammond Wrecking Ball set, a pretty fun build. It does exactly what you would expect, featuring an ironclad battle mech made of plastic brick, which can transform into Hammond's Wrecking Ball. Kind of a great play off a hamster ball. Really interesting constructive build from all sides, and a pretty interesting transformation into ball form too. We have quad cannons on each side and those will fold in. On Hammond's left side, we have an inside orange lever to raise and lower Hammond into the wrecking ball. It's kind of behind this quad cannon laser over here. Flip up and he goes down, flip back down and Hammond goes up. A little bit tricky, sometimes he pops off his stud inside, but a pretty cool little effect. Now that he's inside, close up the hatch, close down these top flaps here, and then we're going to start moving in these leg pieces.
to form our wrecking ball hamster ball. Pretty round all around. Highly descriptive he is. Pretty cool how technical you can get with Lego. And let's pop him back out. And we are ready to go for battle. Up front we also have his grappling hook cover. To remove, just flip this hinge down and pop off the grapple cover. The only downside is we don't actually have a grapple that comes out. There's nothing there, no string to pull out and grapple onto. So we can't truly make it into a wrecking ball. I'm assuming most of the mechanics were left in raising and lowering Hammond here inside the wrecking ball and then not leaving much room for a grapple. It is a smaller size set, so you can't do everything. Very fun overall though, it's really cool to see the ham and hamster figure. Again, the main reason I really wanted to build the set. I do need to start playing Overwatch though. Maybe when Overwatch 2 launches, I'll jump in there. And Hammond from all around. No articulation, but obviously we can place onto a stud. Fun little mini figure. It's kind of funny, for not playing Overwatch, I have amassed a few sets already. Earlier in the year when LEGO Overwatch first came out, I built D.Va and Reinhardt. At that time, I wanted to see what Overwatch was about, and these two mechs looked really terrific. And then, most randomly, my family bought me a LEGO Overwatch Bastion set for my birthday. I think being a very cool transforming like robot mech made it a pretty good set to give. It's quite the fun build, actually. We have a light up top on its head. And it somehow transforms into a tank. Let's see if I can give that a go. And there we go. Did I get it right? Did I get it right? I think these panels look flip-flopped. But other than that, I think I got it okay. So yeah, LEGO is making some really cool, interesting Overwatch sets. I'm really glad they're going into different lines like this. It creates a very nice variety of themes for the line. So if you're looking for something fun and unique to build, check out Hammond's Wrecking Ball. Okay, Hammond, the snack bar is over here. LEGO Overwatch Hammond the Hamster's Wrecking Ball arrives on store shelves fall 2019, runs approximately $20 a set. If you're a big fan of Blizzard's Overwatch and can't get enough of the game and want to move it into the real world, look out for these great LEGO Overwatch set builds. They will keep you entertained when you are not on the screen. Just make sure you feed Hammond plenty of bananas, dough balls, and other seeds or you'll have a very grumpy squirrel er, hamster on your side. That's what I have to say about that.